Hey guys, welcome back to uh, another episode of Wrenching with Rob. You know, it's been a while, and uh, as I've probably talked about in the last episode or two or five, I've uh, been a little busy with the, uh, the new baby, so please bear with me. I'm getting back to some real content here uh, in the very near future. So, here's what we're doing today. We're sitting inside my 2013 F-250 Super Duty. And uh, for those of you that don't like Ford, you'll, you'll love this because, of course, it's broke. So here's what we're going to address today. So I'm going to rotate you around and uh, put you on my, my display there. So watch what happens when I put it to reverse. And, of course, it's working now. But let's see if we can get it to do it. We'll turn off the nice, annoying beeper. So you see there, the camera's popping up, of course every time, because I want it to fail, and whenever I need it to work, it does not. So uh, look at that, wouldn't you know it, every single time I put it into reverse right now, this thing is working flawlessly. Do you think I could make this thing uh, come on here in the last almost a year? Absolutely not. And today, the day we're actually going to address the problem, that dumb thing works perfectly. So, all right, so this might be it right here. So it's not doing anything now, and I have it on, there we go. You Sometimes you'll get that notification right there where it says camera unavailable, uh, contact your dealership. Well, I was stupid enough to contact my dealership, and of course they said it's going to be like a minimum of 600 and some dollars, and they're going to replace uh, some big expensive processor or camera or something like that and me being the cheapskate that I am I said nope I'm going to try and fix that myself so but turn you off we'll get you set back up on the rear of the of the truck and I'll show you what we're doing okay so we're set up here on the back of the truck and on these 13s I'm not sure when they actually went to the cameras up here in this area uh, but uh, my camera is right here and it's part of this uh, tailgate emblem so somewhere along the line Ford put it up here or up here somewhere uh, but anyway in there I've tried all the uh, the YouTube videos on how to to uh, check the wiring and then there's supposed to be some type of a, a potential issue with the wiring harness that runs up there by the brake uh, the emergency brake pedal and tried to wiggle all that and set it and do all that and uh, nothing seems to really affect it and I think that somewhere along the line somebody's been in here before because uh, Ford again in their ingenious ways have made this tailgate emblem that you have to remove in order to replace this camera a one-time use item so somebody's been in here before because when you pull this thing off you see on the back here, because in the way that I noticed this is uh, one day I came out and my, my emblem was kind of like sitting like this with this gap in between here and it was okay on the other side. So I pulled it apart and I noticed that there was some sealant on here. And uh, I've actually got a new one here. And we'll, we'll compare them side by side, the new ones on the top. There's these little tabs or tangs here, and they what they do is they snap in behind here, making it uh, one of those type things where once you pull it apart, as you can see on the bottom one here, those pieces are broke off. Great, gotta love that. So anyway, if somebody's working on this, the part number for the for the emblem back there is if you can make that out, it's a Charlie Lima three zebra. 994258-alpha-alpha alpha. or maybe it's this 517-6169 I've got mine from Lakeland uh, Ford down in Lakeland Florida my local dealer here is a is a little bit more pricey and likes to attach you know quite the markup on it and they wanted like 30 bucks for that thing and all it is is a piece of plastic but these guys Lakeland Ford I think I got it for like $17. So really happy there. Now the camera is another story. So that little guy, 
I say little because it is. It's right here, and let's see if we can find. I think this is the part number right here. Echo Charlie, three Zulu, one nine Golf, four nine zero Alpha. So you would think that this monster box here and the price that it costs, one hundred or two hundred and eighty-two dollars, would make it quite the monster. But look, crazy enough as it is, this thing isn't any bigger than like a like a PCV valve or something. I, I know it's absolutely ridiculous, but it does appear to match the one that's in there already. So what I was leading on to before is I've tried all the, the quick fixes and, and uh, unfortunately it seems like uh, I'm down here to the camera. So uh, with the cap off or the emblem off there, I see two what looks like seven millimeter screws. I'm gonna assume it's metric because everything else on this truck is metric. Yeah, sure enough, that fits and that's a seven. We're gonna pull these two screws out and uh, hopefully that the rest of that emblem backing will come off and we can gain access to the actual camera, how it snaps in. Hopefully it just snaps in relatively easy. So we'll pull these out. They don't seem to be too difficult. Hope everybody's doing all right after the uh, if you're having anything to do with storms and fires and things like that, that, that stuff really seems to be uh, wreaking havoc on, on a lot of people, unfortunately. Wow, that is some kind of long-winded screw here. Look, it's still going. I bet that thing is three, three some inches long. Look at the, look at the nasty dirt. Oh, I think that might have come off my tools. Still going. Well, that's one of two, so hopefully this one comes out. And, you know, everybody else used to back up, or somebody without a camera, or when I was growing up, without a, you know, we just backed up and didn't hit anything. Well, let me tell you. I said the same thing until I started backing up to my trailer or trailers and uh, looking for that little ball back there instead of getting out 500 times. Yeah, I know. I could be probably better at backing up. But uh, instead of getting out 500 times, that sure makes it a lot easier. So there it is. It looks like all we have to do is figure out how that plug comes off of there. And then uh, it looks like we got a couple of Torexes that might, looks like one right there that holds it in, or star, or whatever you want to call them. See, and I see some tape, and that scares me, because whenever there's, doesn't look like factory tape, you know, I wonder if somebody's been in there messing around or something. So, anyway, we're going to pull that apart. I don't know if you, there, look at that. I figured out how that came apart. On the first try, you just push on the button. When I get this apart, and I don't snap you guys and knock you over, I'll show you what I did. So I pushed right here and that released the lock and it came out. So now we'll take out, out this uh, little Torex star, or whatever you want to call it, and hopefully that will release this camera to where it'll rotate out. But uh, give me just a minute, I'll have to get that particular tool and we'll be right. Okay, probably should have started off with all the right tools, but in this case, I couldn't see what was back there. so. I'll let myself go with this one. So here's that screw out. Now hopefully this just rotates. Oh, it's got some type of locking thing like that. I don't know if y'all saw that. Let's do that again. So this just comes out like this. Now hopefully we just snap this thing out of here. But no, we couldn't get so lucky. Oh, there it is. So there's a little, there's a little catch right down in here and it seems like it's uh, gonna hold on for dear life. Watch me break something here. Actually, let's take this whole thing apart. I just dropped that one into the abyss of the floor, but luckily I saw it before it had a chance to run away. You ever notice that if you drop a screw on the floor? 
or a lug nut or something and if you don't watch that thing that thing will end up over in the neighbor's yard somehow and you're wondering how does this happen well I'm here to tell you they have feet and they run and they know when you are not paying attention they're like oh no it went straight down I could see it nope nope not so much guess what that thing is gone if you didn't see it all right so now we've pulled the whole entire mounting system out and we're going to try and figure out how in the world that that thing snaps out of there because evidently there's some sort of trick uh, maybe it's just tight hey look at that what did we break did we break anything nope i just pushed on it enough i guess and we got it out of there so let's see if we got the right part number because there was a couple different part numbers and i thought i looked it up by their site and i put the vin number in and my truck and all this good stuff and it was like a hundred and some dollars which i was like okay because my local ford dealer told me a substantially more i was, i think it was like 300 or something crazy and then when I uh, went to order it, they called me back down there at Lakeland and said, oh no, this is $100 more, you need that one. So I recommend if you're going to do this, you just call them, tell them your VIN number, and then look it up and be the right stuff. All right, so here's our new one. They kind of look alike. And Lord, that's some small numbers. Well, I see the same part number right around in that area, so I'm going to go with it. Plus, it, it looks the same, so we're going to hope. We're just going to hope and pray that it's the right one. So now, I'm going to try and snap that monster back into where it came from. Now, I can't remember if I pulled it out this way. <laughs> or if we pulled it out this way. Great. Well, let's put it back. Let's put it back into the emblem first and see what that looks like. So it came out with those little pins like that. And the the little cord look doohickey thingy. Hmm. So would it be that way? I don't know. I guess you should I should have paid attention to that before I took it apart. Well look at that, it even can go in sideways. Some of you are already screaming going, look, you took it apart this way. You idiot. So I'm thinking I'm thinking like that, because if you look at the way the cord's wrapped up in there this is the way it fits in so that's what we're gonna do and it snapped in happy so let's put these two back in then we have to find our screw that escape down on the floor so he's down here hopefully I can snag this without now can you guys over in there like that if you can see that here's our one that escaped and we'll tighten those in there I would not go ungodly super hundred foot pounds of torque or anything on these because they are plastic can only do that once and then we'll mount it all back in there actually I'm going to clean it so I'll 
I'll clean that all up, make it all pretty behind there, because I know there's pro people probably going, clean that, clean it, clean it. So I'll clean it all up, make sure all the old connection devices in there are happy and doing their lightning or whatever you want to call it, trons, and then we'll uh, we'll mount it up in there and see if it works before we put the emblem. Okay, so it's in there. I spared you the uh, whole extremely short process of uh, cleaning it and putting these two screws back in. So now we'll go back in there and put it in reverse a few times before we snap this one time only fancy emblem back in and make sure that it works. Now I highly, if it's gonna work, it's gonna work. Uh, I guess it would make much difference if I put the emblem in, but uh, just for insurance purposes, if those that that uh, know what I mean on that one, we'll uh, we'll give it a whirl first. Man, this thing is so dirty. It'll make me feel better anyway. So we'll go back inside the go back inside the truck and make sure uh, it works, and then uh, we'll we'll be happy hopefully. Okay, so we're inside the truck. If you can't tell, and I'm about to put it in reverse and see what it does. Hey, a lot better picture. A lot better picture than it was before. And let's go to oh a new trail. Back to reverse. New trail. One more time just for I'm gonna go with that. So turn it off. And we'll go put that emblem in. Okay, so now we're going to take the chance and hopefully not screw something up and put this emblem in there and like I was saying before these little tangs right here get caught under these little clips I guess from what I, I see and then uh, this thing is locked in for for life so we'll, we'll line up these pins with these little holes and we'll give it a little I guess that's it okay hopefully we didn't scratch it up and we got another little something for the uh, the wall, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's in there. So super short one today. All we're doing is some preventative maintenance. I won't even call that preventative maintenance. That's just maintenance there on my truck. Kind of tired of the uh, the backup camera being intermittent and not working when I really need it. So really happy to see that something that I diagnosed came out right on the first try. Sometimes uh, these electrical demons here seem to really fight everybody and uh, especially me it seems like where you, know, you think something is definitely the culprit and then you find out it's not. And I was trying to avoid the most expensive part of the whole system. So I hope this helps out people that uh, have had the same problem where their, their backup camera saying contact the dealer and all this kind of stuff. It may not be as uh, complicated as you think. So that wasn't all that difficult. I would assume that if you had not, uh, if this wasn't already broke loose like mine was, you just keep prying on it until it sounds like things are breaking, which they are. It would be these little tabs. Uh, you have to have this, or you can probably try and glue this thing back in like it was before. You just stuck some, I think it was probably some gasket maker sealant or silicone or something around these tabs. And for the most part, that was holding it in. Makes me kind of wonder, what had gone on in there before. Obviously, I'm not the, the first owner of this thing. But anyway, that's all I got. So uh, thanks for hanging out and wrenching with Rob and working on some, you know, I guess this isn't old stuff here. But anyway, hope you all are doing all right. Thanks for hanging out with me. Till the next time, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye.